British GT champion Jamie Chadwick is sponsored by Specialist Bank Aldermore. This sponsorship is an excellent fit in several respects. In 10 years of competition, Jamie has shown the flair and commitment to upset the odds and defy stereotypes. While Aldermore was the first of a new breed of challenger banks and prides itself on offering a radically new style of banking. The main reason behind Aldermore was an absolute frustration I had in the teeth of the financial crisis that so many hardworking and creditworthy SMEs and homeowners were unable to get finance from the incumbent banks. And so we set up Aldermore as a really modern bank to help those precise customers. Very early on, we decided what our values were going to be and decided that we were going to live and breathe reliability, expertise, dynamism and straightforwardness. And those characteristics are as relevant in Aldermore today as they were on day one when we started. It's about the people in this organisation. People shared the passion to do banking as it should be for our customers, to help them to go out and seek and seize opportunities. There are a thousand odd people in Aldermore who have made this organisation what it is today. Aldermore have always focused on doing things differently and provide superior service in selected niche markets. Since it launched in May 2009, Aldermore has helped to support hundreds of thousands of SMEs, homeowners, landlords and savers with its innovative and personable approach. This has clearly struck a chord as it has achieved 10 consecutive years of loan growth and its total lending is now at £9.4 billion. Among the businesses it has supported is EnviroBuild, a young company that specialises in sustainable building materials. The bank they were originally with was one of the sort of the big traditional banks and they just didn't seem to understand where we were coming from, whereas Aldermore were reactive, they were super fast, responsive to our needs and they ended up giving us an offer that was exactly correct for where we needed to be. So the interest rates that they offered on our loan were entirely reasonable. The flexibility of the drawdown facility was great. Um, and we checked with another couple of challenger banks, but Aldermore were the best, comfortably the best. Relationships are crucial to Aldermore's success and the bank works closely with intermediaries. There's three parts of the equation. You need somebody who understands what you're trying to structure the deal. You need good rates and you need people who can get it sold internally. That is definitely there with, with Aldermore. You can talk to Aldermore, you can explain to them what's going on, you can explain to them how the economics are going to work, how the revenue is going to come in, and they're the kind of challenger bank that, that get it. And that's why they're such a huge part of our business now, because they, they understand what we're doing. You know, after the global financial crisis, when Main Street Bank sort of stepped away from lending, you know, Aldermore came in as the first challenger bank and actually made a bit of a difference. And, you know, getting that quick yes and that solid yes is very important. It gives borrowers certainty. It's a beautiful way to do business. Terms are competitive, you know, the reasons for lending are also competitive, and also just the ease of doing business, the ease of logging cases, the ease of submitting cases. For me as an intermediary, it makes my life a hell of a lot easier. And also for borrowers, you know, everything is uploaded through the portal. You don't actually need to send in rafts of forms. It's all digital, it's perfect. Aldermore is now part of First Rand Group the largest financial services group in Africa by market capitalization, and it has completed its integration with Moto Novo Finance, one of the largest lenders in motor finance. This move is expected to bring benefits to customers of both Aldermore and Moto Novo Finance, but the company is not going to change its distinctive style or its human approach to underwriting, and it will continue to provide funding for types of customers who would have had difficulty in getting loans from traditional lenders. It would be the death of Aldermore if it just became a small, big bank. I think the way that we're thinking now in terms of helping customers through their life cycle or at those pain points that we all have at various points in our lives is something that really excites me and I, I look forward to the next 10 years of being able to deliver that for our customers.